गुड आफ्टरनून फ्रेंड्स टुडे विल बी परफॉर्मिंग अ सिंपल ऑपरेशन सी एन सी मशीन ऑपरेशन ऑन अ सॉफ्टवेयर विच कैन बी यूज ऑन अ सी एन सी मशीन टू परफॉर्म इट सो दिस इज ऑन दिस मशीन वी कैन सिमुलेट द ऑपरेशन ऑन अ कंप्यूटर एंड सी हाउ द ऑपरेशन विल बी परफॉर्म इन डू चेंजेस एज रिकॉर्ड सो फर्स्ट इफ यू डो इफ यू वॉन्ट टू चेंज द ले आउट यू कैन गो टू सेट अप लाइक आई लाइक द एडिट विंडो पोजिशन एट द लेफ्ट बिकॉज आई हैव टू the uh, left i will select the uh, window position as left and orientation as horizontal because normally the code is written are short in horizontal manner and long in vertical manner so first we will select the file that is file we will go with panic and now we can start writing and i'll try to explain you the software as mm, as we go along so first we will start with tool you are specifying your which type of operation you are going to perform with the tool that is milling then we'll specify the parameters of milling the first is the diameter which is 5 mm then the second one is the a corner radius which is set to 0 then we input the height of the tool that is the tool height is 50 mm and then the taper angle which as of now is 0 then on the next syntax will write stock this is basically the um, part on which operation is to be performed so we are going to use a block so i am putting a block if you want to perform operations on a cylinder you can write cylinder and then again we input the parameters here there will be six parameters first is the length breadth and height of the block so we'll input 100 100 breadth and 10 is the height and then the we have to input the origin x origin y and origin z and what does origin x and y uh, z indicate is that uh, when you start the operation it specifies the location from which the tool will be start uh, it specifies the position from which the tool will be start start to move so that you can set it at 0, 0,0,10 and then from uh, that point it will start to operate then we'll specify the color of the tool simply it's rgb combination the first value uh, is uh, specifies the amount of red color the second green and the third blue we are going to use 255 in each so that we can see it in uh, uh, so that uh, we can see it in white color the tool will be shown in white color if you input 000 it will be shown in black color so now we'll be performing um, we'll be using the first tool and uh, this uh, tool one is actually end milling uh, tool the difference between milling and end milling is that in normal milling operation uh, operations can be done in the excel direction whereas for end milling it's a tool which can uh, do operations in any direction so now we'll start writing the g and m codes and the difference between g and m codes are g codes are basically the con movement control of the tool whereas the m codes are the machine codes m codes examples can be on or offing can be start or stop of coolant and tool movement of tool etc uh, examples of uh, examples of Uh, m code that is machine codes can be uh, on and off of spindle on and off of uh, coolant etc whereas the g codes control the movement of the tool so we'll start with m code m03 s2000 so m03 denotes the start of uh, spindle and s uh, determines the speed that is 2000 rpm we are going to set it then we'll start with g00 z10 so g00 is rapid point to point movement uh, when you use g00 the tool moves from one point to another but it just uh, travels to that point it doesn't machine anything along its way so we are setting a g00 as uh, z10 then we'll use g00 x10 space bar times 
now the now the machine now the tool will move to the position x10 and y10 and z10 next g01 z1 y10 so now g01 is actually a linear movement but along when it moves along that particular way it machine it machines the block or the material so uh, what we are doing is we are going to uh, from z is equal to 10 it's going to uh, travel to z is equal to minus 2 and y and we are going to set the feed rate at 50 mm per revolution and then now what we are going to do is it's going to travel from x is equal to 10 to x is equal to 70 uh, a linear interpolation and the feed rate is going to be 60 mm per revolution the Similarly, it will move to the uh, to um, x is equal to 90 and y is equal to 30 from 70 comma 10. Simple linear inter linear interpolation. Then we we'll move it up. G1 y 70. Now what we are what G03 is G03 is a circular movement uh, in a shape of the arc of the tool and uh, if you use 03 it specifies counterclockwise movement and if you use 02 it will uh, specify clockwise movement. So uh, now uh, we are setting we are telling the uh, tool to move in circular direction. To the final destination of x is equal to 70, y is equal to 90, with a radius of 20 and a speed of 60. Then again, simple linear interpolation to x is equal to 40. Now, mm, uh, as specified earlier, G02 means circular movement of the tool with uh, to the final position x is equal to 10, y is equal to 60 with a radius of 30. And then mm, simple linear inter interpolation to y is equal to 10. Now, if you observe, now you have reached to x is equal to 10, y is equal to 10, from which you started the operation to perform the operations. So, after it has been performed, now we'll uh, the tool will retract to its position that is z is equal to 10. The x is equal to 50. Now we'll move it to x is equal to uh, now uh, g00. We'll perform g00 that is a linear uh, rapid movement to x is equal to 50. And now we'll stop. and M5 denotes the spindle motor is off
and m30 simply means to end the program so now if you run this operation you go to run rebuild and as you can see this is the shape that will be formed if you see from the top and running and if you want to see uh, step by step you can do this end of this part as you can see it will show you this and on the left you can see the highlighted code and on the right you can see the operations so what we can do is we can start from the beginning so this is g00 x is 10 y is 10 thus move to that position next it went to z is equal to minus 2 with a free rate or f is equal to 50 then it moved forward x is equal to 70 next linear g this is g01 this is again g01 then g03 counterclockwise uh, circular movement then g01 again then this is clockwise movement g02 circular then g01 now it returned to its original position now uh, g01 z is equal to 10 it moved up and then it moved to x is equal to 50 m05 end of tool point what uh, we can omit this x is equal to 50 because there is no need of it now what we can do is along with this milling we can also introduce drilling in it so we will write the same syntax as above tool injected drill comma specifying its parameters 5mm 120 50 next color 255 now we are going to use the second tool for, uh, that is for drilling we are going to use it so similarly g00 rapid movement to x is equal to 70 y is equal to 50 then we are going to use m03 this is uh, we are st starting the spindle and we are going to move it with the speed of 2000 rpm we will go to g01 z minus 3 space f50 now what this will do is it will move the drill downwards in negative x axis with a feed rate of 50 to drill the hole then g01 is z5 so now we are retract retracting uh, the drill then we move it to the next position where we want to drill it so rapid movement to that position g00 x50 y50 then g01 same we want to drill the uh, hole to the same depth so z is minus 3 f is 50 then we want to retract the drill so again g01 space z5 next now we want to drill a third hole at this position x is equal to 10 y is equal to 90 space now to drill the hole we will uh, move the we will linear interpolate the drill to z is equal to minus 3 with a feed rate of 50 mm per revolution next we will retract the hole we will retract the drill or to z is equal to 5 for this time to 10 and then we will stop the spindle then we will fit the first tool if you want to so that when the next guy comes to machine on that uh, so that when the next guy comes to perform operations on that machine the first tool is fixed so, so there is no uh, so there is no so that when the next guy comes in to perform operations on the machine the by default the first uh, tool is installed on it so now if we we'll run this uh, step by step it will start from x is 10 y is 10 z is 10 it will z is equal to minus 2 x is equal to 70 then it will move to x is equal to 90 then y is equal to 70 then a radius 
then linear interpolation then again uh, clockwise um, radial interpolation and then again to the starting point and this is the end of the first pole. now we'll start drilling end of pole path Now, yes, we have to select running rebuild. So now you can see the new structure. Now, if you run it step by step, as you know, linear, as you know, this is the one we did before. Now, what now it reached to G01, now it will move to G00H70Y30. It drilled a hole, as you can see, it moved back up this is g00 movement now it will perform g01 movement now g01 again now it's lead rapid movement so g00 now we have to operate on the block so g01 then again it will attract now end of pull path what you can do is you can uh, add g00 rapid movement to the starting point H10, Y10, and Z10, and let's see five say running rebuild so that it returns to the path from which it started. Yeah, as you can see, now it has returned to the same path. And also, what you can do is instead of writing here uh, two lines, you can straight away specify in the first one itself H is equal to ten. Y is equal to 10, Z is equal to 10. Running, rebuild. So now, as you can see, no, this will, this won't work. So, so that's it guys that's how uh, you can perform a simple operation and I'll include some text documents uh, word of, and, I'll try to, and I'll include some uh, documents down in the description below which contains some basic operations um, codes along with its description so you can try some other operations on this software and do like and subscribe this video that do like and subscribe this video it gives a big moral booster to bring such content for you guys and this is alwas khan signing off thank you